Hi lovelies, it's Melinda here. I'm going to be reviewing my fearless brushes for you all. Now I purchased this um, for $44.95 on the website fearless.com.au. I purchased it, I think it was last week and I got it on the Monday and I've been using it since I've got it because I wanted to see how they work. I heard about it through uh, Lillian and Amy from YouTube and um, I do have a fashion video collab with them as well if you want to check out the video check the down bar below so I bought the purple set next like this which I think is uh, great for traveling in and it zips all the way around and you get eight brushes now I've got a tissue in here that's covering the back of the case because I've used these brushes so if you don't like seeing dirty brushes then don't look but I have used them and it just shows that you know I've actually tested them out. I've washed them literally three times. I've, I have washed them. I wash my brushes almost every day, guys. Not kidding. And so far, they've done really well. So uh, obviously, you want to see what the brushes look like first. Um, this is the angled blush brush. So you can apply blush, you can apply bronzer on your cheeks and I use this for all sorts of things even just contouring that, the nose and applying highlights sometimes even so soft, I really really love it I do have a video um, that I posted up before I made this one and it's a get ready with me tag and I just use these brushes um, with the Sigma blending brush as well I cheat it with a blending brush but I think everyone needs a blending brush like this uh, this one just doesn't have it, so if you want a blending brush, you can actually buy one for like $10 from the website. So the next brush I'm going to talk about is a powder brush. It's really big. It covers my whole face. You can bronze face with this. Um, I use it to take off fallout. Um, it's so soft. It reminds me of my Royal and Langnickel powder brush. I really love how there's purple on the brush and then like the handle is purple. And the ferrule is black. I kind of wish that they had different colors as well. I mean, look, purple is my favorite color, but I kind of wish they had like an aqua or a pink or something. But anyways, the ferrule is really good. I've washed the brushes like literally three to four times now, and none of the brushes have come out. So they are really strong, and you can twist it as high as you like the ferrule, and it won't twist off like some brushes out there that are cheaply made but yeah I tested them out and they're really good and because it's got purple dye on it I've washed it you know to see if the dye would come out and it hasn't at all the next brush I'll talk about is the foundation brush now this is your basic flat foundation brush I've been using it every day and I've used it on my skin today as well it's got a nice big handle so I feel like I've got a really good grip when I'm doing my foundation and I highlight my face with it as well I just sort of pat the highlight in next brush is the eyeshadow brush now this is the fluffy eyeshadow brush it picks up a lot of product I really like it and it's nice and small so I can get under my eye without um, leaving too much fallout on my face so the next brush is the angled fluffy blending brush now I do like it for applying eyeshadow on and like just really light blending but it doesn't blend really well like how I want it to which is why in my get ready with me video I actually used a proper blending brush I mean with all brushes you can use it for everything you don't have to use it for its one sole purpose but that just I find that it's not really great for blending that well so yeah I think you need to add like a blending brush in there if you're traveling but um yeah I really like it it picks up a lot of product I've even used it up in my crease I like how it's angled so it gets right into the crease the next one I will talk about is the concealer brush that's the con ew now it's gonna dirty my case it's the concealer brush and it's completely flat and small so it's really small so those with big eyelids and a lot of space on their lids probably won't like this as an eyeshadow brush it's more like a concealer slash eyeshadow but for you guys it'd probably be a good eyeshadow I mean a concealer brush um, it's very tiny so for me because I've got tiny eyes it's good I can work my way in there without putting too much shadow in um, I really love it for applying wet and dry eyeshadows I can line my eyes with this because it's so thin I could do like a really nice thin precise line by just using the tip so I really love this brush now the second last brush is the angled brush now it looks like that I line my eyes with it, I apply eyeshadow with it just to the corner of my um, eyes like I did there and I do my brows with it 
it's really really good and sturdy like it doesn't move around too much like it's stiff so when you apply eyeliner on you get a nice straight precise line now the next brush I've got in here comes in a little case but the problem with mine is that it comes it comes off like that yeah but it's supposed to stick on the brush is supposed to stick onto that but look what happens to it it just falls right out and none of my Sigma or Sedona lace brushes do that like they actually stay put once you put it in the case so it's supposed to be like a long brush like that so I think I got a faulty one I'm not too happy about that and I do use these brushes but I didn't use it in my get ready me tag I do line my lips with it and I do some uh, kind of do my eyeliner with it as well because it's so small I also got a kabuki brush by the way the first one I got in the mail with um, the fearless brush was faulty like I literally could just pull the brush out like that can you see the strands I don't know if you can see that can you see that on my hair if I put it next to my hair you can see it I uh, emailed Coralie about it and she said oh you've got a faulty brush I'll send you a new one so the next day I got a new one which is fabulous and this is the new one here which is a lot better no fur no nothing it's so soft I love it I think it's like ten dollars I highly recommend it the only thing is I wish that they sold a kabuki case with it that way I can put it in my handbag without it touching all my stuff in there my diary and things like that I don't want it to get dirty so I'm gonna go on eBay and buy like a little case for this that way I can keep it nice and sanitized because in my bag I feel like it's dirty everything and it's getting dirty itself so not too hygienic um, I do hope that you like this video. Go and watch my Get Ready With Me tag to see my application of how I use them. All these brushes. I'll give you the website down below. Um, I'm not affiliated with that at all, so you won't get any discounts by going to the link. Um, if you have any questions regarding the products or anything like that, let me know in the comment section below and I'll get back to you. I'll see you all soon. Bye!